This is the Intersil Zucker Labs ZL6105 Digital Power Management Controller used for point of load DC to DC conversion. As you can see in here, with a very small footprint, is the advantage of digital controllers. There's no external compensation required for this device because it auto compensates. Along with all the additional settings you would need, are all self controlled in the device. So, if you want to control things like startup time and switching frequency, it can all be programmed through one simple GUI interface where you've got the ability to monitor your output voltage, your output current, and even make all your setting changes such as soft start times, rise times, sequencing, fault delay modes. The real benefit of this device with the latest generation is the ability to do self-compensation. With one push of the button, this device will self-compensate and set the PID taps automatically to optimize transit response. To get a graphical viewpoint of what really occurs on a device in optimizing transit response, here's a separate tool we've used, CompZO, for adjusting PID manually. Being able to adjust whether you want underdamp, overdamp response, gain natural frequency. Looking at the body plot from the frequency domain, you can see that with just adjustment, the device will automatically self-compensate, eliminating the double pole response and providing optimal gain for that particular settings. The real value in the part in the future is being able to self-compensate on the fly, such that as the device ages, you're always going to be balanced as your inductors and your capacitors change to get optimal transit response and stability.